hi dear stay tuned today we're gonna to learn how to make this a lovely fascinator in our money making series on how to make more money as a tailor and it seems of course we have material that we got from the tailor and i'll be showing you that soon so we have one yard of veil or netting depending on where you're from all right then this is the material that i got from the tailor she had seamstress she had made an attire for her clients and her clients was a fascinator and this is the other piece that is left with this other piece of material i so love this one this two they are lovely and you know when you get a material you need to do is click up that light bulb in your head and start thinking so i thought okay i'll need to make use of pegs b6000 i'm thinking oh gum yeah might be of course a matching thread with the needle because we're going to be sewing and then I was thinking, yeah, I think I would surely be needing the bronze and the silver hot wire. You get to know where we use that, why we're using two different ones. And then I brought out different feathers that fitted the material. I wasn't so sure of which one I was going to use because of the budget of the client also. So that we'll get to see in the course of the video. Then bias, match into the material. Then I have my bishop cap. It's a ready-made cap. And then you have the scissors. And I used the cutter. Then also um, masking tape. I was thinking, almost forgot what that is. And then razor blade. And I think I'm bringing out something. Yes, the Taylor's chuck. So those were what I used, plus the elastic band. Oh yes, let's get back to our video of last week. We want to see who won, and it is a certain craft. Congratulations. So you have won to attend the three fascinator classes we have for just 1,000 Naira as against 9,000 Naira. Congratulations. Please do contact us in the Ventcraft Academy for your gift. Okay, so now you want to take your bishop cap and so we already have done that before in our previous video. If you do not know how to do that, I'll be dropping the link below. So what we're doing is using the bronze hat wire, not the silver, which is more malleable and we're sewing it to the edges of the um bishop cap and i'm making use of my lovely cutter if you need that cutter contact me i love that cutter cuts very fast okay so remember if you watch you see how you put the um hat wire underneath the other one so it doesn't pop up and start tripping things around now nah, you don't want as the client is wearing your hat is carrying so many things nah 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 okay so now you cut off your scissors like so and the hat has been made ready no, it hasn't. <laughs> so you take your measuring tape and you measure and you add two inches more to it. Whatever your measurement is, add two inches more. And that's the measurement you're going to use to cut out your material. Now I'm going to be putting two materials on top of it. These two materials, I've cut them out already to the measurement that I measured the bishop cap. I think that was 11 and I finally cut out 13 by 13 inches. So you want to take your uhu gum and put all around the edges like so. I'm going to put it all around. Round. Even if you don't see it going round because I'm trying to make things fast. It's round. Then we do our famous thing which is north, south, east and west. Remember why we do it? To make sure that our material goes smooth on our fascinator base or hat base, whichever one. Okay, so now I'm going to be dragging from each end like this. And I'm going to do it all the four corners of the pegs that I have just put and use the pegs to hold it down till it glues. I hope you're gaining value. If you're gaining value, please do give me the thumbs up. Okay, so that's done. The next thing you want to do is cut off, cut out. Is it cut off or cut out? Do let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so you cut out the excess. I've done that. Now I'm putting the second layer. The second layer, we're following the same process. So I'm not going to be showing you that just probably a little clip of that but you do that do not south east and west and you grab again like so to make it look smooth all right keep watching and learning yep that's it over there that's how it looks right now waiting for the pegs to be taken off okay so let's go to the next thing. so i was looking i didn't just want to use my hot wire and wrap the bias like that no i said if i take off the strips from this material you know they're shining it will make the hot wire to be glittering you know instead of just seeing a plain bias it will be glittering so that's all about creativity in this world that we're in the millinery or the seamstress you have to be creative so your work stands out so i'm cutting those pieces i think i cut like about six of them but i'm only going to show you one 
you see that is there okay so the next thing we're going to do this hat wire is 36 inches take note i made use of 36 inches and i'm going to wrap it you already know how to do that so it's already done if you don't know you check in the comment in the description of this video i would give you the link of where we did that previously okay on how to join the wire and how to wrap it so now I'm making use of that strip that shining strip that I cut off and I'm just putting it like that can you see the steps I'm giving if you look on the other side because I've put some is that my right hand side you see that place is already glittering okay now I'm cutting out pieces from this beautiful is it lace material cut out pieces I'll let you know what I use that soon so stay tuned till the end you get to see where i use that piece i cut out so now i'm wrapping my hot wire i'm not going to fold i'm not going to squeeze it no because i want it straight so now i've just wrapped it well firm not straight then i'm sewing it to make sure that it's sewn properly so i can be able to cut out what is left okay so that done, I'm going to cut out the excess over there. Be careful that you don't cut it too close and the next thing you have to start all over again. So this is how I'm going to be placing it. Place it like so and I'm going to be sewing it. Just watch and you see how I sew it to the bishop cap. Very easy, really. Very easy, very easy. With bishop cap, it's very easy. It's when you mow that, mm -hmm, it tends to give you wahira. You have to probably go and eat apple if you are eating to make it go in anyway keep watching and learning okay so now what i did so that it doesn't shift in place is that i opposite it i started sewing with another needle and thread so now i'm going to do it all the way around so you can do it in the four corners so that it doesn't shift and you ensure your bishop cap stays in the middle i've sewn it all around the next thing i'm doing is taking off the ss inside ensure you don't cut out your thread please so i'm just taking out the ss all the way around like so if you don't see the to the end it was wrong just making it fast so that it doesn't take much of your time much of your data but you understand the process i hope you're looking okay, out it's time to attach the elastic band remember when sewing the elastic band you're going to be making sure that the thread that comes out from the other from the front or rather the top of the fascinator you take it close to it so that it's not visible it's the one on this other part that's the inside that you can take it in big strides because finally you're going to cover it up with a material or with a lace i will show you what i covered mine up you need to stay tuned this hat really was kind of made all using the material that the client gave i didn't get to see what the cloth okay no i saw the cloth but i didn't i didn't snap it for you to see the cloth was really very lovely and gorgeous but wasn't on the mannequin so i couldn't really snap it so you see it won't look so gorgeous like that and i didn't ask the client also to give me the picture anyway but i, I guess you get to see how this is so this piece is can you see all these pieces i cut it from the material so you see creativity always put up the light bulb of creativity so instead of using bias or peter sham what i did was to use the piece of the material that shining part i cut off of the material cut it straight straight pieces and i'm going to use it to cover up all the sewings that was done there so even when the heart is seen underneath it looks all so pretty i think i should stop talking i'm talking too much for now keep watching and learning Okay, so I'm also going to be covering the top part too. So all the swings, can you see it's covered now? So I'm checking the feathers. I'd have really loved to use the full feathers, but because of the budget of the client, what I did was I cut out a piece so you can see how to, you know, work within your client's budget. So this feathers is kind of like in three batches. That's the way it's sewn. So I took my cutter and cut out the first batch on top. So you have to be really careful so you don't... Um, losing the thread that has already been used to uh what do you call it to hold that first batch you don't want it coming off so be really really careful okay and that's the batch i got so i'm going to be sewing it to make sure it doesn't loosen also because i want to sew it on the fascinator like that so that's me sewing it and now i'm attaching it to the fascinator you want to check your fascinator how you want to place it i did that so you couldn't see it was above the camera 
and I saw how I wanted it to be and now I'm sewing it okay though I sent it to you in the community tab to um, finally ask which of the positions you want although I've already put the elastic band there it's just that you can with elastic band you can kind of turn your fascinators in different level yeah that's true if you want me to tell you to do a video on when you use the various type of fascinator holders elastic band clips combs Alice band do let me know in the comment section below keep watching and learning the game challenge for this video will be coming up tomorrow and that will be put on a on a short video youtube shots and i will drop the link in the description of this video tomorrow so, so do stay tuned you want to click that bell button for notification if you don't have it you know someone just want you want to be a winner too okay so now i'm sh this feathers yeah i want to make use of it but i don't like it's looking so hairy like that so of course another creative work which you can do to feathers so i'm going to trim off the hairy bean and make it look neat to have a nice haircut <laughs> all right so just keep watching and learning Yeah, the haircut looks neat. So I've attached it already to the fascinator using glue. And then I take this other one. Yeah, just small pieces like that. I'm going to remove some. And I'm going to use my glue again. I made use of glue. And I put it on the fascinator. Hey, remember those other trimmings that I was getting from the lace now? This is it. So instead of using a flower or bias or tree other kinds of trimmings to cover up my sewing, I made use of this lace patches, so to speak, and I made a lovely design. Almost looks like leaves coming out from there. Can you see? I glued them all there. Oh, it looks so sweet. If it looks sweet to you, please do let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to learn other creative ways to make fascinators with your clients' pieces of material, please do check this next video above.